Orlando Real Estate Institute presents a Florida real estate exam math tutorial. In this episode, we're talking about real estate tax prorations. You might get a question on the class or your state exam that asks you to prorate out buyer and seller days and determine buyer and seller credit debits when it comes to the annual property taxes. In this video, we'll kind of talk about that and how to figure out the problem very easily. The first thing you need to remember is that property taxes are paid on an annual basis. You just have to know that, and they're always paid in arrears, meaning the tax bill comes out on November 1st, and that is for the that year that it's in, from January 1st through the end of the year. So in this example, the buyer's purchasing a house with a closing date schedule for April 15th, a non-leap year. The annual property taxes are $3,562. The sale contract states that the day of closing belongs to the buyer. Calculate the property taxes using the 365 day method. Well, the first thing we need to do is figure out what the daily tax rate is because we know it's property taxes and it's an annual number. We need to divide it out to get it down into a daily rate that we can use for calculation purposes. So all you have to do is take $3,562, which is the tax rate that was mentioned to us in the question. And we're gonna divide that by 365. That's the number of days in a year. That's gonna give us $9.76 per year. So next, we need to figure out, well, how many days belong to the seller and how many days belong to the buyer? Just for rem reminding you, November, that's when that tax bill comes due, and April, that is the closing date, April 15th. So the seller is actually going to live in the home from January 1st through April 14th. We know that because it says in the question, the day of the closing belongs to the buyer. Then from April 15th, the day of closing through the end of the year, that's going to be your buyer days. So to figure out the number of days for seller and buyer, all you do is go over to the seller side, take 31 plus 28 for February plus 31 March, and then the first 14 days of April, remembering 15th belongs to the buyer, that gets us 104 days. If we look on the other side, you add all those up, and there you go, you have your answer of 261. Now, you can choose to add them up like I did here, 16 plus 31 plus 30 and so on, or if you're confident with your 104, all you do is say 365 minus 104, and that'll get you 261. Either way, that's how you come up with that. Then the third step is to calculate the total due for the buyer and for the seller. So we take the 104 days from the seller's days times 9.76, that's what we found in step one, that gets us $1,015.04. If we take the 261 times 976, that gets us $2,547.36. That's how much the buyer is responsible for. Now, we need to figure out the debit and the credit and who gets it. Well, I want you to remember one thing. The tax bill comes out November 1st. So when the seller lived there, the seller didn't have the bill for the taxes yet. The buyer is going to get the bill, including for the time period the seller lived there. So we know one thing, on the closing statement, it's going to be a debit to the seller and a credit to the buyer because the seller is going to owe the buyer. So we can instantly, instantly get rid of A and D for our answer because it can't be a credit to the seller in this case. It's gonna be a debit seller, credit buyer. Well, how much does the seller owe the buyer? Well, that's $1,015.04. So the correct answer would be B, $1,015.04 debit seller and $1,015.04 credit to the buyer. That's how it will appear on the closing statement. So that's how you handle a closing statement proration when it comes to property taxes. Just remember always the annual tax bill is an annual number. You'll need to divide that by 365 and then you have to do your prorations. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget you can check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Google, plus YouTube and Instagram. If you have any questions, you can give us a call at 321-333-5222 or visit us online, orlandorealestateinstitute.com. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to check out our other